Right, I'm heading up to Warn Scale Bossy for sunset. Why not come with me? Hopefully you can hear me above the roar of the water. Well, good afternoon again. And you found me out for another walk. And this is somewhere I went um, probably maybe getting on for three months ago, and that's Warn Scale Bothy, where I went up and went up um, Warn Scale, is it Beck? Getting images of various waterfalls on the way up, and then some images from the Bothy at the top. This time I'm coming up from the other side. I've parked at Honister Pass in the National Trust car park which is right next to the the slate mine and then we'll go over the old tramway via Dubs Hut and to the Bothy and the main reason for coming up this time I thought it's a chance of a good sunset so that's why we're going up there a sunset hopefully hopefully a good one from Warn Scale Bothy Ideally, it could have been done to have been coming maybe about a month ago for where the sun actually sets. But anyway, we're here today, so we'll carry on up this path, um, which will be a lot easier <laughs> without talking, trying to talk at the same time. And we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well we've made it to Dub's Hut, which is um, a Bothy, I think it's maintained by the, the Mountain Bothy Association or, or something like that. And you'll have seen on the B-roll, if I'm assuming I've put it up, uh, just a, a quick skim round of what's inside. Not, not an awful lot really, just a, a sort of stove thing for obviously in the winter to keep keep you warm or when it's not as hot as it is at the moment some benches where you can sleep and various things that other people have left but um, we're not far from one scale bothy now it's just down over there um, yeah you can't actually see it from here but it's it's not that far but I thought I'd try and capture an image of the Bothy before we move on to one scale Bothy. So you can see you've got the camera. Oh, if we come down, well, there's the camera. And there's the Bothy. But what I have got in in the foreground, which you can probably hear, I'll just move over to, to look at it. There's this sort of cistern with water running in and out. So that, that that is there. The other thing I did was I did put a polarise, polarising filter on just to try and get rid of some of the glare. I mean, maybe you can see it on here, the glare on the rocks where the water's falling. So, yeah, so that's it. Um, I took an unbracketed image and was struggling with the dynamic range. So then I've taken some bracketed images. So hopefully they'll be all right and you'll think it's quite good. So... Yeah, we'll put that image up and then we'll head off to Warn Scale Bothy. So we'll see you a little bit later.
Right, well we've made it up to the Bothy and I found a composition, it's the fairly standard composition, we've got the camera there, we're up on this slate, um, I suppose it's debris that, from the mine that's um, great, it's, you've got to be careful when coming up because it's not, it's not going to collapse of its own accord but uh, some of the slates are a bit loose. But yeah, so we'll come up here, you can see there's the bothy. And then uh, let's just zoom in. And then beyond, oh, I'm doing it the wrong way, beyond we've got Buttermere, beyond Buttermere, Crummer Quarter, and the mountains. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. I mean, if we look around here, I mean, I don't know whether you'll be able to see it. Um, but there are some shards of light coming through there. The sun is over that way. And as I said, maybe I should have come earlier in the slightly, maybe a few weeks earlier when the sun was would be setting over there. I'll possibly put up an image I got a number of years ago where the sun was setting more or less in the middle of the frame that you can see at the moment. So... Yeah, we're just going to sit here, see what happens. Hopefully we'll get a bit of colour. I've got myself relatively comfortable. So we'll sit here and see what happens. And then once we've done that, we'll put any images up and we will head back to Honister and home. So we'll see you a little bit later. Right, we're on our way back to the van now. Yeah, I, I got some images which you'll have seen by now. I did do um, as a black and white a 30 second exposure. And then we did get some colour, but it, it wasn't as good as I was hoping. And as I suspected, the sun was um, going down too far to the, the south, really. So this is an image that, to get like the one, I will put it up, I will have put it up, the one I took in, I think it was 2020, um, 29th of March I think, no, 29th of May, when it was dipping down right over, looking straight down, um, the uh, down Buttermere, etc. Uh, and that's probably, you've probably got from there, maybe a little bit early, going up into June and maybe into mid-July and then it's getting too far round as we, as we found out tonight. So, yeah, but it's been a good, good to get out. I've got, um, don't know why I mentioned, I took a couple of handheld images of the Bothy when we got there and obviously I took the one of Dubs. 
Dub's Hut, which you'll have seen. So, yeah, and just to remind people, if you've enjoyed the video, please click the thumbs up. And I'd ask people who watch regularly, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, because that will help the channel no end. Uh, my next target is 750, which is about 100 subscribers away. And we seem to be have stuck around the, the 650 mark, but yeah, I'm sure we'll we'll get there. But yeah, so you should please subscribe, and most of all, please comment. I do appreciate all comments, and I do t I do answer all comments. I'll reply to all comments, whether that be just a thank you or answering a question, whatever. And I do take note. And there's certain music on a video a couple of, I think a couple back, that at least two people found it very distracting, very annoying. So, as I've probably already commented, that music won't be used again on a video. But, so it just shows that I do take note. So, yeah, I don't know what's next. Uh, I've got to work out when I can get out because we're in the summer holidays next weekend. I think Saturday and Sunday. Um, we've got our grand grandsons who are doing a sleepover as well, so we need to be around for that, so we'll be able to get out at the weekend and maybe try and get out later this week. Oh, sorry, this next week, today being Saturday, and oh, the very beginning of the following week. So, yeah, but where it'll be and what type, whether I see if I can find a different place, as I said, maybe um, home file to try and get some more images of the header. Not quite sure, so anyway. I am rambling, so we'll stop there and we'll, say, we'll see you on the next video.